Hi everybody, Tiffany here. I'm going to be creating a project for the piece by piece and I'm going to be creating a altered cigar box and also a easel card. I'm going to be making the easel card first. I'm using the Pink Paisley Butterfly Garden Paper Collection and like I said I will be using uh, trims from the piece by piece such as this one here. I'm just going to be inking it a little bit with a vintage photo uh, distress ink. Now I'm just adding all my layers and trying to figure out where I want things to go and I'm going to be adding that lace on top of that doily and I'm also going to be adding um, a die cut which kind of trying to figure out which one I want to use and these are from the Hope Chest collection from Pink Paisley um, it coordinates perfectly with uh, the butterfly garden paper and I'm going to be using some cheesecloth uh, just to add a little bit more texture to my card I love texture and I just am using cheesecloth like crazy I don't I don't know what it is it's just really fun texture it gives projects there you go again trying to figure out which die cut I want to use um, kind of go back and forth which one I want uh, this is some Maya Road trim you can get at the piece by piece dot com and just adding it on top of that cheesecloth lots of layers and textures makes it fun so I decided on this one here and I'm going to be stamping a sentiment in the middle and um, I inked the edges and the stamp is from Annabelle Stamps. It's uh, the birthday wishes I believe. Um, one of my favorite stamp sets. I'll stamp it right in the middle there and then stamp the sentiment which says birthday wishes right in the center. So I am adhering some paper on the inside of the card and I'm going to be adding some more of that distress ink to that to the lace there and adding the lace so that uh, the, the card will stand up to make it the easel card. And then um, that finishes the card and now I'm starting on the box. Uh, this is just a small cigar box and it has a magnet closure. And using some gesso and I use a couple coats um, all the way around the edges and using some Fabri-Tac and adding that to the box there and this again is the pink paisley butterfly garden paper and this is uh, the 12 by 12 paper I believe and adding it to all the corners and um, I use two different sheets. One has polka dots and then one is just kind of green to give it a little bit more um, interest on the box. And now I'm inking all the edges because I don't like the stark white so I'm just inking all the way around with the vintage photo. I'm adding this My Road trim all the way around the box and Kind of careful because I want it to be able to still open very well and that's some crochet trim from the piece by piece these are some Manor House Creations flowers and kind of using some spray that I had on my mat um, to kind of ink up that cheesecloth um, just kind of heat setting everything and that basically completes uh, both projects Hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.